welcome back. So today is our first full day aboard Iona and we have, it's about half seven this morning. It's a really nice room. The bed was firm, not soft, which is good. And actually being on deck four, this is the view, being on deck four was actually quite nice. Um, it's not very rocky, I think probably because you're lower down, it's not rocky, it's, uh, you can see it's quite wavy out there. It's a gentle, a very gentle rocking that you get. I'm impressed. I really am. It's lovely. The quilt is gorgeous. All the bedding. JP said the quilt was a little bit heavy. I thought it was perfect because I love being snuggled. So the quilt was fine for me. Um, this window is just adorable. I love it with this lovely view out here. The room is a good size. What I probably would say is, there's a couple of observations. If there was four of you, say two teenagers, um, I think it might be a squeeze. Um, but if you're not all trying to get ready and use the toilet at the same time, I'm sure it'd be fine. That is a sofa bed. Um, so perfect for little ones. There's no children on this uh, cruise for the seven days. There's no, because of obviously COVID. So um, yeah, wardrobes are quite low. So if you've got any full length dresses, ladies, they might just touch the bottom of the cupboard. I'll show you, I've got a white dress in there that's quite, which is full length. Just be aware of that. And there's sufficient coat hangers probably for two people. There wouldn't be if there was more than two people staying here. And in the bathroom, there is no charger for your razor, gentlemen. So there's no razor charger in the bathroom. Um, or if you have an electric toothbrush like we do, there isn't a charger in there for those as well. So you would have to charge them outside. I'm saying about the full length dresses. If you have a full length dress, that potentially wouldn't fit in these wardrobes because they are quite low. So just observation for you ladies as well. All in all, an awesome first night. So we did so much yesterday. We went to the glass house, which was beautiful food, little bites we went for. We didn't go for the main um, meals. We just did the little light bites and they were delicious. Um, we then went back up to Horizon to have a look at their food options as well, which was really good choices. There was chili con carne, there was roast, um, there was salad, sandwiches, everything there. We then um, did the cinema. So there's four cinemas on this cruise ship, uh, which is really cool. We watched Nobody, which was a great film. Um, sat next to us was Tony Hadley. So if you know who Tony Hadley is, that's who was sat next to us and if he's watching my video, hi, it was very good. It was a good film, we were, everybody was laughing as well. So it was quite a nice ambience in the cinema, very small, it's not a massive seated cinemas, but it was brilliant. Um, and then we went back up to Horizon again and had midnight snack and there was plenty of variety and it was really busy as well it was busy in there at midnight which was really good um other observations in the lift there are going to be four of you in the lift and there's little areas where you can stand on at this time because of covid and there's a strange sticker in there as well that talks about do not speak which is really strange so um but People were speaking and that actually broke the ice a little bit in the lift so that was quite sweet and um, yeah so all in all a great start yesterday we are dressed for the gym we're going to the gym let's uh, get on with the day so we are eating in the coral for lunch and this is the Please, lunch yes, menu which is probably just um, teething problems the waiting for your food 
takes literally ages. I'm just looking around at everybody in here. But it's been in here quite a while. Probably 15 minutes. How long yeah, yeah, last? Half an hour we've been in here. Oh, sorry, half an hour. And nobody's got their dinner, not even their starters. Oh, no, people have. The people behind us came in after us and got theirs. All right. I mean, well, it's just teething. Teething, yeah, exactly. That's what I said. It's very pretty, though, in here. If anyone's got any questions, leave it down below. We do light bites as well as full menu. very very nice um yeah it was okay i didn't didn't just because i wanted it to be light because um i just didn't want to eat a lot and jp you didn't like yours he didn't like his for some reason i thought it was going to be warm we have arrived at the and, ooh, and we're having lunch here today. So we've got the burger and fries, which the fries are quite nice. You actually have to ask for the sauces. The sauces aren't available for you to just grab. So you just need to get your own little sauces. And then we've got a selection of the salads and we have got key lime pie and a chocolate dessert. It is lunchtime. Scandinavian chocolate cake. <laughs> no, thank you. Scandinavian. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's called a Scandinavian sticky chocolate cake. Nice. So we've got that. So we've got a couscous salad, a red onion salad, and just a chopped multiple salad. So we're going to tuck into there. Science we did salad. just go, as you just saw, we were at the coral. Um, yeah. Uh, it was just nothing narrow fancy, that was yeah, all. Yeah, nothing narrow fancy. So no harm. I think we're just going to eat everywhere for lunch. Yeah. We're going to pop upstairs and have a look at the grab and go as well. We're sitting diagonally from each other, so it's very difficult for you to see me. Sorry. So we're going to tuck into these little goodies and see what we think. Key lime pie. Delicious. Quinoa, 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 delicious, nice. It's actually a mozzarella salad. Didn't like the chocolate thing, and the chips and the burger were nice. Fries, the burger was delicious. Burger was awesome. It was really good. Let's put it from over on there. For a, for a burger on a cruise, I've had a hundred really worse burgers than that. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. Good evening. Well, it's evening for us. How are you all? Are you enjoying the videos of our Iona adventure? So today we have been to the gym. Come on with JP. Sorry. Let's sit down here next to JP. We have, oh, visited the hot tub, didn't we? We went in the hot tub, babe. Yeah, we that was all cool, that was awesome. That was nice, we went in the hot tub. There's loads of hot tubs around the ship actually, it's quite nice to see. And there were lots available as well, because it's a little bit chilly out there. 66, no, 61 Fahrenheit, so it's a little bit chilly as for us Brits. And it's a little bit chilly, but it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, we've done that. We have tried to sort out the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi for me, um, for my phone has just been a nightmare so there were a couple of packages weren't there that you could go yeah, with yes it was uh 40 pound for the whole cruise or seven pound for a day um and that just gives you a bit of social media a bit of stuff but the next one up is 60 that gives you that with email and browsing and all that kind of stuff and the big one was 120 um and that's meant to give you absolutely everything sterling pounds. the problem is none of them work just don't work it's infuriating so we went down and saw the um i want to say cast member <laughs> oh member. my crew member um to try and get him to help us and he said that the internet on the cruise ship just generally with the it internet has been down today 
so um, they were going to look into it and let us know but we've checked yeah. our phone no messages that's cool so we've done that and we walked around the deck loads and we've done some vlogging as well of deck seven and eight so yeah. now we are dressed and we are ready to go to coral for our dinner tonight reservation which is 6 15 which we did have to book on the uh, website so we've booked that and then we went there for lunch we weren't 100% 100% keen on it so depending on what the food and options are will depend whether we go up to Horizon afterwards but it's so great that you've got the Horizon because they do amazing food up there as well um, the Horizon's open till 1am yeah morning. it's perfect well we were there midnight last night and there was hundreds of people there. Yeah, and they had cheese and biscuits yesterday, and I didn't get any, and they didn't have any there at midnight, so I might just pop up there in no, a bit. But they had full meals. The, I know the, the people were having. And, yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. But um, we're still loving it. Today is Sunday, so it's our first full day, as we said yep. earlier. Um, so, yes, yeah, so they're going to come with us, see what we're going to have for dinner, and then tonight we have Joe Pasquale, who is a UK comedian. Isn't he? He is. He talks like that. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> we'll see if we can video a little bit for you. So keep watching. Coral. There's two cues there. One says, uh, "Have you been called to be selected?" And the one on the left is, "I'd like to make a reservation and take my chances if there's a table that comes available." And then this one is when you have actually booked your table. Coral tonight and you have the pleasure of JP. <laughs> Hi, we are in Coral and you just saw with JP, you now can see me. So we're going to show you this snazzy menu, this nice seating that they've put us in. JP's got the camera. Hi, you might want to go. So we've got starters, we have main course, desserts, and today's chef's recommendation, lamb kofta, Moroccan couscous, and what's that? Tazini? Tazia. Main course, roast turkey like breast this, and dessert, warm apple strudel. Oh, that sounds Kippy, delicious. No. no, thank you. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, this please. It'll be lovely. Delicious. JP's just having some bread. I'm going to be good on this cruise. So, I quite like Chef's recommendation lamb kofta, roast turkey and warm apple strudel and if not oh prawn cocktail yes um it's a bit our experience of evening meal is the same as lunchtime where we're just waiting quite a while to place the order but that's okay we're just saying though it's not even at full capacity yet so you can imagine full capacity yeah they're gonna struggle I don't know why, maybe because it's a new team, but they have done um, shakedown cruises and it's been out and about for quite a while. So you'd, you'd think most things, and they've got enough staff, there's more than enough staff. Yeah. So, not sure. Who knows? But yep, it seems to be, I can tell it is very pretty in here though. We're going to try some of the other restaurants so you get to see those as well. We're doing Pearl. Aqua and Olive House and Beach House. I'm really looking forward to Olive House. That, that was really, really pretty. It was really sweet. Really quaint and just really Italian looking. Hotel has just arrived. Looks quite nice. It smells very fishy. And you, JP? I have no idea what this is. It's <laughs> meant to be smoked pat, smoked ma it's mackerel pate. Yeah. So. I'm not sure. But you also got buttered bread. Yeah, that's what comes with prawn capture. It's very British, isn't yeah. it? It's very British. Yeah. Okay, we're going to tuck in. My review on the prawn cocktail. 
didn't even taste of anything, did it? Yeah, Normally, it, like it has like a nice, um, what's the sauce called? Mary Rose. Mary Rose. Mary Rose. Mary, Mary Rose. I can't put JP in this, sorry. Um, these just didn't taste of anything. Literally nothing, so I have actually left them. JP had mackerel. I had a bit of your mackerel. It was mackerel okay. Was okay. That was good. Yeah, it was okay actually. Let's try and do it that way. It's alright. It's not bad yeah. actually. It wasn't too bad. But um, yeah, I gave up hope trying to order a drink. I just wanted to order a cranberry juice, but I gave up. It's just, and yeah, they're just something is broken. Yeah, it'd be really good if you go on this Iona, if you go on the Kino Iona and um, you give us your review of how you think service has improved compared to what we've experienced or if you experience the same situation, it'd be really good to hear from you guys because I'm not, we're not being negative or anything, we're just telling you we how just, it is. We just recognise that this is a new cruise ship. So Salmon has just arrived. Nice. And JP steak. Yeah. I'm up to Windjammer to get pudding. Oh, I love the fact that you've got so many restaurants here and you can just do that. Or raised table areas. It looks like that one over there. Yeah, it's quite nice. And these lights are really nice as well. I like sitting here because you can just watch everyone. I don't know what JP's getting. We just had a dinner downstairs. And I was just going to come for pudding. Looks like JP is going for the whole hog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who asked us that though? Do you get yourself like a couple of meals? Tell me you do. It can't just be us. So you got yourself a little bit of meat. Oh, and it smells, it's gammon, sorry. And it smells amazing. Cool. All right. Smile. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be on camera? You can be on camera. <laughs> yeah, entertain you. This is a nice photo frame. That is very good. It is. It's very good. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to see what we've got here. So we've got an assortment of fruit. So we've got cherry cheesecake with amarena. Amarena? Cherries? Gluten free, sweet, semi sweet chocolate mousse, and gluten free breads. Lemon and poppy seed. Semi sweet chocolate mousse. A bottle of lemon. And we've got spiced potato lollies and horseradish on the tree. Oh, that's nice. I bet that's what JP got. Nice. Hi. Orange evening. Orange and glazed gammon. It's delicious. The Brussels. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Brussels sprouts as well. Irish stew. Potato bread. Seeing it in action there. Bang bang chicken. Okay. And we've got down here, we have got Hello. Hi. mushroom broth and spinach dumplings and falafel. Cornbread, cashew bread. And Salad, Waldorf salad, tuna, nicotine salad, mixed leaf orange, salads outside. Look at Michi, Michi Slaw. 
Cheesy crackers. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Hi. Um, can I have some cheesy crackers, please? Yeah. Can I have two digestive biscuits? Two digestive. And can I just have this cheese? About four pieces, please. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. That looks lovely. Thank you. Um, enjoy, ma'am. Thank you. Do you like some tea tops? Yes, we'll be back. Cheese and biscuits. Chocolate mousse is delicious. Very much there. The cherry one, nah. But the chocolate mousse, oh my god, light, fluffy, chocolatey. He just got no, oh, what is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he did. Custard. And then this little cheesecake. Baked. Some sort of cheesecake. Mm. Like it? Yes, good actually. Okay, we are off to see Joe Pasquale. If you want to know what Joe Pasquale looks like, if you're not familiar with Joe Pasquale. Let's go and see what this comedian's like, shall we? Let's go and see if we can put a smile on JP's face. Don't eat. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> That's next to impossible. Hmm. I really do love this room. I know I said it before, but I'm just summarising again. The room is perfect. So if you're worried about a cabin that's just got a window on the Iona, it's beautiful. It's very spacious, isn't it? It's, it's really good. good. It's such a nice room. If we were on this for two weeks in this room size, I would be more than happy. It's lovely. Right, let's go see Joe because he's probably waiting for us and we probably need to get our seat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do have to wear your mask. When you're not actively yeah. drinking. Drink. <laughs> so bad. Right, so we're watching Joe Pasquale. We cannot film it, unfortunately, but we'll see if we can take some pictures. If we can take some pictures, then I'll insert them. Yep. And if pictures we can't... just don't help with a vocal comedy. Though. I know. Because some people might not even know who he is, so it'd be quite cool that we could show, them, show you who he is. But he's got a good crowd, but we have also got... The infamous social distance. So, seat. social but actually, distancing. I mean, here it's one seat. Royal Caribbean, it, it was, was four. Three. Oh. oh, wow, you paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's four. Three. It was four. Four. No, no it was three. Really? Definitely three. Oh, we'll look back on the videos. I bet you I'm right. Yeah, that's good. So, catch you later. Because of Felipe, the good news is as well, I've just found out that Jonathan Ross has been arrested for stealing kitchen utensils. They asked him why he'd done it, he said I thought it was a whisk worth taking. <laughs> Joe Pasquale was really funny. Maybe he? funny. I was able to put a little bit of footage in, so you should have seen that little bit of footage as well. Very old school. Yeah. Old so we're going to end our vlog here for this evening. Hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be fully packed, so it's probably going to be a long one. Mm. Well, it will be because we'll probably finish and then go to Horizon. Oh yeah, we're going to go Horizon. For a midnight feast. See what's on. Yes, yeah, so we will end it here, but if you're hanging on... But we always do this. We always say, we're just going to see what's on. Yeah, and then we and have then two we... plates of food. <laughs> and then we sit there in the morning and we're like, oh, what Shouldn't have eaten that. So yes, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, notification bell, and come with us to Horizon... Let's say grill then to the horizon and we will uh, have a look what else the food is yeah midnight feast. midnight feast and then catch you tomorrow i'll catch you next time